Hi, welcome to another edition of signing. Today we're going to practice our Pledge of Allegiance. Um, there's lots of ways that you can do this. This is the way that I've learned, the way that I've seen. Um, so remember what you see here is what we're using here in my house or with other people in this area. Uh, all right. I'm gonna go through and do the Pledge of Allegiance the way that I learned and the way that we do it around in this area. And so, here we go. I pledge allegiance to the flag, United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So remember, there are ASL signs using um, the English word order, which is also called the pigeon sign. So how we would do that and how you would sign it, or um, if you are using this as a guide to help you learn, um, you would do these signs. You could do, you would do promise, support, flag, put your hands together and go around for the United States of America. Then you can do to the Republic. This is the sign for government. You can also see the sign for R for Republic. Um, so you can do the G hand sign and touch to top your temple, or you can do the R sign and touch your temple. Um, but we would do to the Republic for which it stands. This is basically the, the sign for show, and you're showing all the world that this is what the Republic is standing for. For which it stands. Then one nation, you do one. Make the end sign and tap the top of your palm. I have also seen one nation, and this is the sign for country. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the sign for country. So either either sign that you want to use, again, is correct. Um, so one nation, and then under, you're going to do the sign under, and come up, and as it as a kind of a fluid motion, open up your hand and sign God. This will be your sign for God. Um, so yeah, one nation under God. Then in, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know what's going on with my voice. And with indivisible, you're joining your hand together. This means together, like brotherhood. We're all together, and you can't like the chain link. You can't take it apart. So take two of your I guess your middle and your thumb, connect them in the middle, go around in a circle, indivisible. Then liberty, do two L hands, cross them in front like this, and then shake them out with liberty. Then for justice, point your hand to your forehead or to your temple, then two F hands, and it's like the scales of justice for, in, with justice. So, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, a lot of people will sign all. That's it. Done. Some people do for all people. I have done it in many different ways. Uh, I have found that lately I've been doing the, the more of the... Um, the nation, I have done it country, I have done all people. I believe in the beginning of this video, I just stopped with all. So there, the, the two ways that you could see, I pledge allegiance to the flag, the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, uh, Another way you may see it would be more of like, I pledge allegiance to the flag, 
and the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So either really, there's no right way per se to do it, and there's no real wrong way to do it. But those are two ways that you may see it on how you can see how signs will use different types of concepts. Um, ASL would use more of like the picture, and um, the pigeon would use the ASL sign with the English word order, and then you have those. It's not quite as common, um, but it's more of like signing exact English, which would be what you would call it a C. And they have like a C1 and a C2. I honestly don't know the difference between the two, but basically what that is, is English word sign with English word order where they sign every part of the word, where they sign every single word in the, um, the, the, the concept of what you're seeing. I personally am not a fan of the signing exact English. I don't, for me personally, as I was growing up and as I started learning using sign and, and learning language and doing all that, the ASL was better for me because I was able to grasp the concept of what the word was. I was able to see it on the hand and then I was able to connect it to my reading. I was able to connect it to the writing that I was doing and things like that. Um, but again, it's all in preference. It's all in what you're doing in your area. I know around here in the Fort Worth area that my experience has been, it's been more of a pigeon type sign where more towards ASL slash pigeon. I believe in the Arlington area, they use signing exact English. Um, and it seems to be somewhat successful over there. But here in the in the, 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 the area that I'm in over here in the kind of the smaller town, the ASL slash pigeon has seems to be the most successful with the students that we have here. So thank you for joining us and we hope to see you in our next video. <laughs> Bye. I'm back. I thought I know I ended the um, vlog. I forgot to tell you that we do have a Twitter account account no we do have a twitter and um if you would like to join us on twitter please do i left the um, link down below also in the comments below if there are any certain signs or certain groups of signs or even songs something that you are interested in seeing or wanting to learn more about in the asl signing way just let me know leave a comment down below and i'll be more than happy to um help present at least one way to do it. Like I said, I'm not an ASL teacher. I'm not a sign language. I'm not certified in anything. I just can only go with what I grew up with as a, um, as a deaf child, what I grew up with, living in the hearing world, being mainstreamed into the classroom. If you want any more information about how that worked for me, having an interpreter in the class while I was, instead of being in a deaf ed classroom full time, how that helped me out throughout school, college, in my life. Um, whatever suggestions you may have or ideas that you may have, please, please, please feel free to leave them down below in the comments and check us out on Instagram and Twitter if you would like. And we will definitely see y'all in our next video. <laughs> Bye.